Uh, Reggie, you and Janice are going to be at the Blues Festival. And you, how, how many years now have you been working as a, as a duo or a trio? To be honest, I'm, I'm an older person now, Tom. You don't expect. <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful when I make a day. Are you expecting? It's, it's me? been a few years. Let's yeah, put it that I think, way. but yeah. uh, this is, I think, either our fourth or fifth. Uh, before we start doing Upper Deck, we did In the Boat. Uh -huh. When Sherman came, we did the boat. So we have been doing the boat on the Upper Deck. I think this is our fourth consecutive um, gig on the Upper Deck. What are rehearsals between you two like? Uh, for me, it's yeah. it's um, I'm I, I it's what it is. I'm the student, and she's the teacher. Really? Um, you know, I I have ideas to develop. Uh, Janice has so her depth is is so profound. Yeah. In her music vocabulary, so extensive that I need only to suggest a certain idiom, for example, uh -huh. to Janice, uh, and may give an example of a song from that idiom. But I would say I want to do this modern song, uh -huh. but I like the chord voice like we're doing this maybe 20s or 30s I think. Uh -huh. So she could take a bebop with all the you know serious progressions in it uh -huh. and reverse engineering as it were from what all the bebop players are trying to do. Play a lot of notes, yeah. to, you know, really do extensive work with all the progressions. Well for some of the earlier music, we deliberately want to have, uh, we don't want a 1930s song mm -hmm. with elements of 1940s bebop, right. which in the music vocabulary, the bebop uh, uh, language is far more extensive. And so she's fluent in all those things. In all of those things, so yes. she could, she could right. not play Thank you so much, Jeff. She could also not, you know, she could not complicate things yeah. with it, or, yeah, yeah. or quite, quite the reverse. We'll take this 20 song uh -huh. and and I say, well, Janice, you know, give some alternative chords in there, progressions in there, and give us more room to play on. And well, th then we have a new song. Well, I always wondered why Farrah Memory on his last album. Had, had a credit on the album that said Janice Scroggins, Keyboards Advice. Yes. You know, you see, I am, I am so fortunate, Tom, that our relationship has gone beyond, you know, through music, our uh -huh. relationship has gone more deep. But with the deepness of our personal relationship, the music also has taken on a richer texture yeah. of cohesiveness uh -huh. with the two of us. And believe me, Tom, um, it is very little, that's a strange thing that I find so amazing, it's so very little communication right. that we're having uh -huh. when we're doing this, doing this stuff. And it's been so many times that we're playing a tune, and then in Yannis' solo, she'll introduce another song. Uh -huh. And then, so after we finish the song, we'll say, wow, I know that. So we'll try to do that. Or she listens to me constantly. So she'll send me some, I'll see you tomorrow. She said, she'll send me some uh, song. Uh -huh. lyric. As a matter of fact, for example, Janice sent me a song that me and the box of chocolates 
I mean, you know how turtle is. Yeah. Just fell in love with it. It's, a, it's, it's my new definitive love song. Uh -huh. uh, if my nose was running money, honey, I'll blow it all on you. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. I got that Janet sent, sent that one to me. And it's a wonderful little funny tune. Anyway. You know what people don't know? Mm. People don't know how funny she is. She is. And, and the, the only time I have ever seen her talk or I, I actually tell a joke was when she was with you. Uh -huh. oh. I was I was shocked. That I have she, a that, picture to show you, Tom. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I, good yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you this picture. I am not going to describe this picture All right. on film. All right. When you turn this thing up, I'm going to describe okay. it. You're going to love this Well, story. if you can send it to me, we'll just put it up below. We'll put the picture up below the screen it's, here. You know, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but the story, I mean, ah. but it's, a, it's the thing is, um, Jan is getting frustrated at a recording studio really? in, in a session, and only thing she did, she just, oh, she threw her hands up, and what she said was so <laughs> profound, so simple, uh -huh. that everybody in the control room, you know, she was telling to a musician that was on the set, yeah. but everybody in the control room didn't want the musician to see us laughing, right? What did she so, say? So we got on the floor. <laughs> she just said, so and so, it's the blues. Because <laughs> he was having a problem hearing. It was blues changes. It just, just it was going over and over. And she said, it's the blues. And she threw up her hand. She had a hand lift. Everybody in the booth, the engineer, you know, we didn't want to kind of, kind of keep a serious face, but we kind of kind of flow. Just laughing. You just don't expect that. We don't Janice expect Dragons, it. Right. And it was right on. Yeah. <laughs> and it was yeah. right on. I, I remember when, when, when you guys played Silverton Wine and Jazz Festival last year, I couldn't believe my ears. She was telling a joke and, and laughing. All of that came about, I swear. Because of you. No, well, we were there. Yeah. We were there, and I just turned to Janice. When we first said we had no idea what we were going to be doing, uh -huh. because let's face it, they had all this incredible musician that they had played before us, right? I mean, Dan Barber and this group, and they just yeah. blew the stage up, and then, yeah. the, and then the later the quadraphonics, and they came right. in and just, uh -huh. out, I just yeah. blew, blew it up. I said, you know, they. They, they only left this much of music left to be played. So that's what we were on a thing laughing at and said, Janice, what can we play after all of this? What can we do? And she just said, she just kind of smiled. And I said, let's just, from the top of our head, let's just take it from the beginning. So that's why we just started talking about the ragtime. And yeah. then she played and did that. And, and we had the vocal mic on her piano. And she she told us stuff about a grandmother and about yes. Ida Bell and stuff like yes. that, and, yes. and 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 set the tune up. And she did that in Seattle once too. I love that man. When, but are you going to give her a, a, a mic at the Blues Festival? I have one there. It's you see, I mean, it's one of those moments. Yes. Um, when believe, but like, like. Like my head, I'm always thinking crazy, funny things and stuff. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at something and I can get a joke out of it. Um, but I found out that Janice does all the same kind of stuff, but she does it with this very stoic, yeah. very, very mature yes. demeanor, right. where where I act like a ten year old. <laughs> As a matter of fact, someone when I did my nose is running honey song, um, someone said. Reggie, you know that was juvenile, like a ten-year-old. You know that. <laughs> well, but, but my point was, what, what's your point? Uh, you think I'm going to allow a ten-year-old to have all the fun with a snot joke? No way. <laughs> so, are you just is this going to be the two of you, or are you going to have a trio? Hey, what do you got? I have um, the trio, Reinhardt, who uh -huh. who is in New Orleans as we speak. That's why he's not here. Yeah. Uh, Reinhardt will be on the set, so we'll be able to do some of the stuff that we want to do. That's another one. I know, oh, I know. It's well, another well, one who just bring, we, uh, like, like, like I do just friends, right? So, we're going to hold her some gift cash. Man, I heard 
you see a jazz, do jazz friend, and you know, triple the tempo and yeah. then hip vamp, yeah. and yeah. so we're doing it that way when he's with us. Well, that's that's that, we're, that's going to be something to really look oh, forward yeah. to. Then Laura Ivesy, okay, Laura okay. Ivesy. She's going to sing with you? Yes, Laura's going to be there. Great. With me. And then I'm trying to get Arietta and Nafasaria to also take the boat ah. ride because they're doing. I, I love having them with me because they are singing their little cute little tails off and just shaking things up. So that's it. Well, Reggie, you were you're one of the great things about the Blues Festival. So is Janice. So <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Tom, you what? know, right after I leave the uh, boat that, that wonderful Saturday, I'm headed over to the um, front porch stage to meet with my good buddies, the um, Toulouse uh, Cajun and Zydeco band with both uh, Steve Karen and myself being special guests. Well, you make sure you stop by the Oregon Music News comfy booth in the Louisiana Pavilion and sit on our couch. Well, you know, I, I, I have a couple <laughs> hours break between my gigs. Well, come on by. I will be there for a little R&R. &R. <laughs> Thanks, right. Tom. Thanks.